Welcome to my review of this excellent gooseneck flexible mount. Please excuse the incorrect dates a bit later on. I forgot I'd taken the battery out of the action camera and the date had reset. Good morning. I've just reset the date timestamp on my camera. Um, I noticed that when I did the unboxing video for this um, flexible GoPro mount uh, a few days ago, I had the camera set in time lapse mode, so it all looks a bit jerky and disjointed. So I'm going to do it again, and also I've used the thing a few times now, so. Um, I've got more ideas. So it comes from this box here, and this box originally came in one of those zip open uh, Amazon um, uh, things, and everything was inside a, a Ziploc bag inside. So you get a set of jaws here, which are reasonably tight and springy. Uh, the little rubber things rotate so they can grip onto things, and if you want to, you can tighten them up by pulling this little plastic, uh, this little rubber thing through. Once, that, once the jaws are done up, it locks the uh, rubber thing, but uh, when the uh, jaws are not done up, it can slide through freely. So the gooseneck itself slots into the top of the clip, or of course you could just put a J clamp in there if all you wanted to do was just clip the camera onto something. But I suspect um, most people will be wanting to use it with this, because what this enables you to do is to adjust the camera position to anything you want. You can see it's quite flexible, and once it's in position, it's pretty sturdy. As you will see from the photographs that I took earlier, um, today, even if the date timestamp does say they were taken in May. Uh, so uh, you can stick a J clamp on there like that. Uh, I've just got an empty camera case at the moment because the uh, camera which I'm using this particular video is, uh, is obviously mounted somewhere else. Um, and it's easier to put the case on the J clip before you put it on, obviously, but you can do it either way around. And then you just uh, screw the ca case up in the normal way. And then you've got a nice flexible mount that can be used to film anything you want to film. I used it to do some slow motion filming at the end of my garden of bees visiting uh, some borage flowers. And uh, then I turned it round and uh, did a little bit of a clip of a hose pipe uh, going into a pond. And then I unclipped it from the uh, post I had it on and put, took the camera right down to get, get close in. Uh, and obviously, this, uh, as, as well as being a, a a clamp on mount is also something you can hold if you want to reach for something. So all in all, um, it's a very useful device. I haven't got one of these in any of my other accessory kits. In fact, I've never seen these bundled with anything else. I dare say they might be in some of the really expensive accessories kits. Really useful thing, um, and it's great for any time you want to mount the camera um, in, in, in an adjustable position. I don't know how much luck I'm going to have with this because I don't know if any bees are going to visit. But I've just set the camera up on a mount so I can get a slightly steadier shot of, uh, of a bee if it visits the flower. I've left it to run on slow motion. I'll leave it for a few minutes and then I'll take it back indoors and see if I've got anything to go with the footage I took earlier when I was holding the camera on the same mount by hand. I was using the mount so I could get a bit closer to the bee without disturbing it. And so here is the footage that I took with the uh, camera mounted on that uh, little blue pole. And you can see a bumblebee's come uh, flying in and is busy at the borage flower. This is a slow motion film, um, so it's slightly re lower resolution than it would otherwise have been in order to get a high fl frame rate so that it slows down to uh, um, uh, a normal uh, 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 slow motion effect. And in a minute you'll see the bumblebee fly up again. And I don't know if you notice, but there's also a little hover fly around. They both seem to be... Um, coexisting around the flower quite happily and the bumblebees uh, buzzing off around the back he's found another flower around the back to uh, have a go at um, so I think that's going to be quite an interesting use of the device you obviously need to find something suitable to clamp it to I found my half inch thick uh, climbing frame for the uh, tomatoes was too thin and here we are. I've turned it around the other way and I've just refilling the pond with the hose and now I'm actually just holding the end of the mount to get it down there nice and close so you can see the bubbles forming. So all in all, quite a useful device. I'm going to enjoy playing with it and I'm sure you will too when you buy yours.